Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Deck Deck, and today we're playing some more King of Retail. So, in our last episode, we went around all the different shops, basically, trying to get our um, daily income back up. Um, as you can see, this has gone up from about 2,000 to 2,600. This has come up back to nearly 1,000 from about 700. And today, we're going back into the shoe stop. Shoe stop? Designer decks, I've still... Well, that episode's not gone out, basically. I'm waiting for a name, damn it. It's not staying as designer deck. Um, but yeah, we need to get more points in here so we can unlock shoes or pants. I think we're going to go pants. Giovanna? Who the hell is that? Um, are you meant to be on a full date? What is happening here? That, did I... Is, what? Did I really recruit all these people? Let's speed time up. And let's get our delivery coming in. I've not got anybody that's shelf stackers now. I've basically got two till staff coming in. Which isn't great. Mainly because I've only got one till. I don't need two till staff in. What? <clears throat> I'm going to send you home. I think I've messed up there with her. Did I recruit her at the end of, like, the last time we did this shop and just completely forget? Just get out my face, dude. Jesus Christ. Buy the fancy stuff. Okay, then. Buy this stuff. Buy this stuff. Uh, buy this stuff. 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 You're in a clothes shop and you don't want clothes. You absolute nincompoop. Yeah, it's an early morning recording. I'm probably going to screw all sorts of words up again. <clears throat> right. Nahum, I believe, is the dude that we're training to be our, uh, like, high-up manager. Mainly because he's got nearly perfect skills. We just need to finish off a few more. Um, these are both salespeople, are they not? I wish to trip and get in the shop. Thank you. Hey, good start to the morning. And let's put some effort in there because you've got a purple bar and I don't think it's going to happen twice in a row. <clears throat> I thought that was probably going to high roll me then. Uh, one of you is till staff. That is unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to talk to him. He's taking too long. Buy the fancy stuff. Great idea. Good. Glad you like it. Although really, I don't want to be taking work away from... Uh, screw it. That hype is terrible. We're, we need to try and send people in. Words? Difficult? Yes. Uh, Nahum needs to talk to as many people as possible. And that's not exactly what I, I want here. God damn it. Yeah, he needs to get as much experience as possible. <clears throat> Although there are no area managers for this place either. I guess to that degree then it does make it better to have just one main concept that does everything. Because then you only need one set of managers to do everything. But we're fine. No, we need to just be quick rolling here. Oh my god, they're circling me. They're circling me. Get away. The dude in blue is going to walk away. I think you two come at the same time. Can you please stop high rolling? It's infuriating. There's just some days where it's high roll after high roll. And you, I was about to say, I've got nobody else around, so we, we're going to put some time into you. But nope, you're just, you're just going to go over that bar. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank there we go. That's the sort of roles that I'm after. She's going to turn and talk, so I've not really got time to stand and talk to you. And we've lost another one. And let's go. Did not mean to press the talk button again. Really, even when I get a high bar, people still roll above it. Sorry, this dude came first. Boom, celebrities next. And dude in the yellow next, if he's still stood there. Nope, dude in the red then. To be fair, I don't really need to be doing this. We're getting enough people coming in, but I'm just trying to send more in. Thanks. Beautiful. No! I was there, I was ready. Yeah, we, we definitely pull more trade in here. Well, obviously we're going to. Stupid person. <clears throat> 
Thank you. Uh, these two turned up at the same time, I believe. Thanks. Yes. Move! Oh, I was talking to the wrong dude. I already spoke to the dude in green. My bad. Sorry, don't move. Thanks. There we go. Look at all the foot traffic. Jesus Christ. Admittedly, it is all yellow shirts because it's mainly students. Obviously, because we're next to university. What's a brown shirt? Or is that meant to be orange? Get out. It says at the top, doesn't it? What an idiot. Good. I think I'm going to talk to this dude and then I'm going to see if I can restock. Because obviously, with our minimum orders, we are ordering double what we need. Just so I don't have to keep placing orders all day. But with the looks of it, I am going to need... No, I'm not going to need to place another order. I'm going to have to jump on a till, though, because it's the dinner time. Holy Christ, we've got a queue. Yeah, they, they need a better staff room as well, don't they? At the minute, it's just a one-by-one one room. They've not even got a table. They've got coffee. Um, my uh, my clicks haven't woke up yet. Don't you dare. I was going to say, I left like a millimetre off the top there. Yeah. I'll try and remember when I finish up to go and um, expand the staff room just by one. Thanks. Yes. All right, let's get shooting more people into the shop. Okay. Woo! Students everywhere. God damn it. Move. Move. You know, I wasn't going to expand this shop any. I'm still not sure if I'm going to, but it seems like we're going to need to. Even if it's just to get another cash register. It's Q from Star Trek. I've never seen Star Trek, so that would make Thank you. no sense to me. I'm not that sort of nerd, I'm afraid, Studley. I'm not that sort of nerd. Thanks. In case you're wondering what the hell I'm on about, Studley sat watching on Discord as I play and send me gifts that make no sense to me. Like the other day when you sent me that one about the shop or whatever it was, the old TV series. I say old. It's not that old. But it's old enough that I don't know about it. Well, haven't even heard about it. That's the worst part. You know, the fact that I've got to stand... Well, not got to. The fact that I'm standing out here and talking to all these people does mean that the days take slightly longer because I can't speed them up. Yeah, I know. I thought I'd put effort into that one customer. Leave me alone. I'm feeling alright. Thank you very much. No, stop it with the mistakes. Thanks. Uh, talk to this dude. Go, 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 go. Thanks. Can you all please just walk into the shop? Is Studley's effect not working on you all? Curiosity's meant to get the better of you. Thank you. Although we did just get loads of people to walk in back to back there. I said Studley again, didn't I, when we went Shifo? We've not seen Studley yet. I do need to get him employed. Um, who else haven't we seen? We've not seen Hugh Janus. We've not seen Steven, I don't think. We've got Jeffica, we've got Suro, we've got Shifel. Thank you. Have we seen Ayumi yet? I'm not sure if we have. Yeah, no Ayumi. Good God game, you're taking your time. Although, I'd rather wait for them, because if they're not, like, manager quality, I'd rather not have them all in one store, because then when we visit different stores, we can see them all at different times. Although, if they can all be um, management material, that'd be brilliant. Here's a question. If I fire them, will they still stay in the pool and pop up later with different skills? <laughs> yeah, I'm worth waiting for. All right, then, Studley. If you don't turn up with full stats... I'll hold you accountable for your uh, your sim. Luna, you absolutely stink, baby. That is not nice. Thanks. Holy Christ. Ooh. And I've got no staff left. Beautiful. Eh. Did he get off the... He literally got off the till while she was stood there. Rude. Wow. 
I should have paid slightly more attention in here. It seems like double ordering the stock is decent. We're not going to completely sell out, but some things we have run out of. But yeah, it would be nice to know if anybody does know. If I, for example, fired... I'm just going to use Jeffica as the example because she's, and I'll say this with um, air quotes, just a marketer. If I wanted to, her to be like one of the top dogs, one of the uh, the high managers that I want perfect stats for, if I fired her now, could I re-employ her later down the line with better stats, hopefully? Or does it just take her out of the pool if she's been fired? Because that'd suck. And like I said, I would prefer it that all of my elite members become higher-up managers, if at all possible. I'm not saying that every single one of them is going to be, but it's a bit of a goal that we can set. Or at least a target. Not necessarily a goal, that means that I want to get it done. Well, I do. Nice. Shut up. You know what I mean. You shut up. Uh, we've got one of them shirts left. That's fine. A tap, tap, tap. We earned about two grand today, didn't we? It'd be even better when we start selling clothes as well. I don't know, what are you doing? She's actually trying to sit on the um, the arms of my chair. Well, not on the arms, the wheel arm branches, whatever they are. Thank you. I can feel her underneath me. What are you doing? Alright, then I should lick my foot. Poor baby. I wouldn't do that. It's not pleasant. Oh, it's closing time. Oh, okay then. I shouldn't have coerced them to come in shopping. Get out. We're closed. Good. Right. Let's do the normal circuit, shall we? Got a little bit of a save there. Um, 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 she's the manager. You're meant to be off. And what are your stats? Just out of curiosity. Not bad. She's one that I could actually train up. In fact, no, I can't. I need somebody to be a manager of this store, and that's going to be her at the minute. Um, so you are my tool staff. That is fine. How good are you? Are you off today? No, you're not off today. You're in today. That's unfortunate. And you are the one that we're training up. Yes. You need to try and get some points up in sales, which unfortunately you didn't get any of that time. Have I got you in five days a week? Yes, I have. So really, the only person I've got at the minute is one cashier for this shop. Okay. Okay, same as Snell. What? We'll have a look, just because. Dude's not bad. I'm not going to keep recruiting a load of people here, though, in this one store to train up. We'll probably just do one in each, like we've got Sir Oak in Digidax 2. You've seen some YouTube videos on sales. Well, hopefully you've only picked up experience in sales, then. Yes. Okay, £8.65 an hour. Good. Fiona. An, a normal name. Apologies if the other ones are normal names, but to me that is the only normal name I've seen in a long time. Um, you're missing a course. I don't think you are. You're the manager. I don't. I don't really want you uh, doing anything else. <sighs> Minimum storage is what we're meant to do. So we've got all that on the way in. Happy days. And you have got some skill. We need to get rid of the typing errors first. Sorry. I'd like to get the speed up, but... Uh, and he's at work today. We just need to sort your shifts out. Right, are you one that likes... Needs less days off? Right. You are going to have Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And 10 till 19. 10 till 19. You know the pattern by now. 10 till 19. 10 till 19. We don't try and do fancy rotors here anymore. That'll do nicely. Um, the other person's off. I'm glad I sent her home. She would have cost me a fortune. And let's go. So the sooner we can get staff in here, the sooner this shop will be just like able to support itself. And then we can start looking to taking money out of the other shops. And moving towards buying our next shop. Come on. This is what we're working on at the minute. 
Concept point seven. I need ten, don't I? This is still going down quite drastically, which is scary. Let's go to... Nope, that's not head office. Head office is here. Let's go to head office. And what was I coming here? Oh, we want to check to see if anybody's got any level ups. No, Shifo. Yes. Shifo. Based off their needs. I think I want foot traffic up this time. Adverti advertisement means nothing for me. So surely if this red bar gets to the top, that's it. We don't need to do anything anymore. We just need to leave them in their job position a little bit longer. Let's get foot traffic up. It's a big jump that it goes up in. Really is a big jump. Um, concepts. We need to come in here. Uh, I'm on the wrong floor. That's the one. We need 10, don't we? Damn it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I want to get everything unlocked. Just before we start going into the other stuff. I mean, I could unlock the next one. But yeah, it doesn't work like that. We can't skip. Fair enough. Fair enough. Why have I got a blue shirt? Because both the theme colours are set to black. Hmm... Hmm, never mind. It's fine. Um, we don't want to go with the new delivery driver. Not yet. Everything is fine as is. This is coming up, though, at least. This has gone from 2.6 to 2.5. This has gone from just over 900 to just under 900. We're earning. We just need to be earning more. Oh, my God. My crip neck is absolutely killing me today. Oh, I kid you not, it feels like I've been in a car crash. And yes, I am aware what that feels like. Mainly because my bad back is due to a car crash years and years ago. What did I say? I said to my mum something yesterday along the lines of, yeah, my back's killing me. Just like, well, why is your back killing you? Just like, I don't know. I pulled it, but it's never been good since the car crash. You're like, how long ago with that? It's just like, do you ever fully recover from one of those? When a car slams into the back of you? And 94 items, really? Yeah. My last car... It was an older model of the car that I've got now, which is a Corsa. Um, it was ancient, but it was immaculate condition. I was devastated. I nearly stood crying just at that dying in front of me. It was so upsetting. But, yeah. I can still remember the noise of the car hitting the back of mine to this day. And like I say, it's been like nearly 10 years. How long have I had this car now? Like 8 years? It's been about 8 years. It's a while. Yeah, 60 seems about right. Right, let's try and get some people in here. Uh, what day are we on? Monday. So the other dude is going to be in. As in the dude that we want to be training up. And I'm sorry, you just... Uh, in fact, there's no point in me quick rolling now because that other dude's not going to be interested. I like opening the shop at 8 o'clock. Mainly because my staff aren't far behind me at that point. Crap. Wasted all that article hype. Damn it. Now I, I blundered there. That's my bad. <laughs> you know when Shifo's been in his job for a while? All these people, I'm hoping all of them just walk in. Oh no, that was in the green. I pressed the cross. Somebody kill me. God damn it. <sighs> oh, we've got Fiona on shift today as well. Hey. Mm -mm -mm. It's fine. Nahum's probably going to beat her getting to the customers just because he's got higher skill level. But if we can get enough people in there for both of them, that would be nice. Why? Why would you quick roll that? Please, nobody tell me off. I didn't mean to. This what? I clicked on the wrong button, damn it. Thanks. 
excuse me. Get in there. Let's go. We need to start quick rolling. There's too many people out here. Thanks. No, there isn't. There's nobody. I'm lying to y'all. Generally, even if you do just one, like, Thanks. set of three on the thing that boosts the happiness, they're likely to go into the shop. Okay. But let's look at it like this. If... Um, Shifo's skill does get everybody that comes out here to just go in. Then what is there going to be for us to do? I can keep walking around the shop all day, but you're literally going to be sat just listening to me talk while we watch money come in. Which, I, d I don't think you guys come to watch the videos for that, really, do you? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. I, it's more like you come to see me try and do well at the game. Although I guess that is... A sign that we are doing well at the game if I've got literally nothing to do. Come on. Thanks. I just want to get that mega shop open. The supermarket towards the end. That That's the uh, the ultimate goal for the series. Still, no idea. Actually, well, blah, words, difficult. How much longer the series is going to go on for. Hey, have a minute. But, I mean, now that our first and second shops are up and running. We've only got to get this one some staff and get this one up and running. And that, that we're just going to be laughing. The money's going to be pouring in. And that's going to allow us to open more and more shops quickly. Once the concept's set up, the stores aren't going to take long to set up. Damn it, I missed him. Yeah. Um, like this concept that we're doing now. I could quite easily open another clothing shop. Not long after this one. We'd get more concept points in quickly. They'd both grow in reputation very quickly. Why would you press the cross? Um, yeah, it, it all, it, it's just a big snowball, really. Thanks. Just a big snowball. Let me turn this fan on, because it is awfully warm for 20 past 8 in the morning. <clears throat> and Luna's just woke up. Thank you. Just like, what the hell? Why is there wind in my face now? I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Uh, put some effort in this. Nobody stood there talking, or wanting to talk, even. Oh dear, I know um, I've only just had a week off, but I've got next week at work, well, I've got this weekend off, I've got next week at work, then I've got a week off. Hehe, <laughs> I can't wait. Trust me, weeks off can't come quick enough. Absolute nightmare of a shift the other day. Absolute nightmare of a shift. Oh, there was shoplifters to deal with. Mm, there was like no staff. What else was there? I remember there being other problems. I need to go on the till for a bit. It's dinner time, isn't it? Yeah, it was just a nightmare shift. I can't go into too much detail about it now that I've actually thought about what went off, but... Uh, hopefully tonight is going to be a bit more of a subdued shift. Mainly because I'm struggling to turn. And if not... No, whatever. Don't you dare. And you're back. Good. I was about to say, weren't you on shift yesterday? But we are on Monday, so the way I do the rotors, the Monday-Sunday join together. Come on. Just get it. God damn it. Please. Well, at least I'm not telling customers to shut up anymore. And I mean that in-game, not... In real life, I don't tend to tell many customers to shut up in real life, mainly because I would not have much of a job left. Can you imagine? Hello, could you just tell me- SHUT UP! I'm busy! Nope. Keep away from that dude. He crazy. He crazy. Why is my gaming merchandise not selling very well? God damn it. Is there something wrong with it? I thought all the students would love it. Apparently that's not their cup of tea. What do they prefer? The fashionable stuff. The fancy stuff. <clears throat> I don't know. It's been a long time since I was a student. Long time now. Oh, God damn it. Go away then. Lots and lots of people. None of them bothered about walking in. They're going to be more bothered when we've got pants and shoes and stuff for sale. Hey, have a minute. Mm -mm -mm. Come on. Oh, dude, that. 
Uh, I think my staff are very close to going home now. Thanks. I was about to say there's nobody here to talk to, but then your question mark appeared right in the middle of my screen, so why not? Aren't we all students of life? How very, very deep of you, Studley. <laughs> yes, yes, I guess we are all students of life. <laughs> ah, don't make me laugh. My neck hurts. Uh, it's not funny. With the trucker. Thank you. Look how many people are in the shop. Do you not realise what time it is and you're all clothes shopping? My staff have got homes to go to, damn it. Hello there. And my staff are all about to walk out because it's nearly home time. Now, that's very much like real life. Not that my staff just up sticks and walk out. If it's 8 o'clock, there's a certain couple of members of staff that's just like, the second it hits 8, they've clocked out, they've got the stuff and they've gone. <clears throat> I'm stood there on the doors, closing them, telling people that we're closed. Because, yeah, people still try to come in. And they're just like, yeah, it's 8 o'clock, I'm going now, bye. Oh, all right then. Thanks. Customers still queuing up. My poor till staff stuck there just like, what? why can they go? It's just because of the floor stuff. Thank you. Again, not all of my staff do that. They don't all just yeet out of the building. Just a certain few. And it's alright. I can say these things because I know them people won't ever actually watch my videos. They're not them sort of peoples. I need to try and fill these up. Can you help me? The fashionable stuff really sells through. I'm coming. And this one. Hey, can you help me? <clears throat> Beautiful. Right, let's try and just focus on people that are actually inside the building now, shall we? Yes, that is perfect. You better buy this lady. Too many times. I've been done by people saying it's perfect. Thank Buy it. You shut your noise. Yeah. Ask for help. Did she just buy two? Um. 55. I don't think she did, unless she had nothing in her hand already. What did you buy for £10? Cheap game. No, well, she didn't buy two. Interesting. Tell me more. Okay, then. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. That's all I'm telling her. That's how I sell things to customers in my shop. I just stand there and repeatedly hold it towards the face and say, buy it. Excuse me. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Mm -mm -mm. You're in desperate need of clothing. Well, I'd say so if you come in shopping in that yellow shirt. It does look like you're ready for a change, my dude. Go pick something. From our bountiful shop. Good choice, sir. Good choice. Hi. Yes, I'll be with you in a minute. I just need to serve this gentleman. In fact, no, I won't. Because it's closing time. You either take it or get out. She got out. That's fine. She was a celebrity anyway. She was never going to buy anything. Let's leave store. Cool. Right. Let's do the normal circuit. And hopefully we'll get some more stuff. So that the income for this shop gets even better. Quick little save. Who have we got? Hey! You worked part-time in a restaurant. Boom. Oh, dude. Dude. Really. Them skills. God damn it, man. But I did say I'd accept any elite gamer as they came. <sighs> I'll go over £10 an hour, Studley. God damn it, man. Not the best salary... To be honest, it's okay though. You shoot your face, dude. Studley was hired. Be happy. Who else have we got? I'm going to count you as a cashier. But you're going to do restocking to start with. You'll come in, you'll fill the shop up. Actually, no, I might as well just set you to register because then I can fill the shop up and I can set you to restocking later down the line. Like mid-shift. It is cashier, isn't it? And not... I'm going to say I'm not having a crazy moment, am I? Uh, cashier. Studley, you want to be the three-day contract. Likes longer working days. Requires more days off. That fits perfectly then. 
So you're going to be off Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. You're going to do 10 till 19. And day off, day off, day off. But like I say, you're going to come in and go on the cash register and then I'll get you to top up a little bit in the afternoon. That way, I've not got to keep coming back in to fill the shelves. I can just get you to do it. Mahaha. Win size more. Okay. I don't think I'll be recruiting you just based off... Do I need a marketer? I think I need a marketer. I'm sure I need a marketer. It's better to hire him and then fire him if we don't need him. Yeah, we needed him. Um, are you bothered about how many days a week you work? You need less days off. Beautiful. You can have Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday off. And you know the pattern by this point. 10 to 19. I have remembered I need to expand the staff room. Don't worry about that one. Let's go like that. There we are. And obviously you're on a day off the day you start work. Brilliant, right? I have my own little clothing store. I hope I don't recruit you because that name looked horrific to say. Now... You're not good enough, and you've not got Elite as a surname, so. <clears throat> Who's this? What name was that? Oh, no. I'm full on register, aren't I? Because I've got the other woman and uh, Studley as well. <clears throat> Please. It's not another woman. It's Asn Asnati. Uh, Asn what is his name? <laughs> anyway, um, order minimum storage. Add. Boom. Yes. Close. Go away. I I press escape to get out of that, and it never works. I don't know why. I do it every single time. Um, get rid of your typing errors, and you're off today, right? Yeah, you can go on a training course. Mm -mm -mm. There you go. Um, win. Uh, Fiona's off and wins off. Win. Already trained. Beautiful. Fiona. You need training. I like to get them trained up before they get there. Right, let's expand the staff room. Just by one. And change walls, remove wall right there. That's all we need to do. Eventually I will expand the storage, I think. It seems like we're going to need it, so I am going to expand the store at some point, just out of curiosity. Could do that now. Not going to do that now. We'll do that when we unlock the shoes, <clears throat> or the pants. I, I've not decided yet. We'll do that at some point. Right, hopefully we've got a few more concept points. Good. <clears throat> we are now at a small shop. Hooah. Two more points to go. Did that go down by like £300? But how much money is our shops actually like stockpiling? They've got 13 grand. They've got 5 grand that I can just pull out of it. <clears throat> We're absolutely fine on cash. If I, I could probably look towards going to set another shop up now. And I'd be more confident in doing that if this was earning a little bit more. But it's not. We're going to do one more day in this shop and then that's going to be it for this episode. But... Um, right. Let's get the delivery to come in. But I'm not going to do anything about it. <clears throat> as soon as Studley gets here. He's going to fill the shelves for us. I think you're actually the only elite gamer that's like a member of staff that's on the floor. Obviously, Jeffica's in the back room. Which, speaking of back rooms, we need to go and do this. this and office give me a table 
There we go. And let's decorate. Floor, that one, that one. Wall, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And copy that one. There you go. I really like the orange. Not going to lie. <clears throat> In fact, can we do the roof orange as well? Yeah. That looks good. <clears throat> Come on, throw it. Work with me. Yeah, we'll get Sudley to fill the shelves up when he gets here. And then past that, he's going to swap. Although, is today the day we've got a cashier in already? Thanks. He's sales, so now. In fact, no, we, we're not going to have another cashier in at the same time, are we? That isn't how we've set it up. <clears throat> Studley, go on restocking to start with, please. I can set him on that before he comes in and dive straight on a till, so it's not going to cause any confusion. Thank you. Uh, he's not going to get to this dude before he kicks off. Buy a football shirt? I'm assuming from what I've seen on Facebook this morning that England won their game yesterday. That and all the cheering I could hear. There's a um, like a golf club pass across the street from me. And apparently everybody in the town I live in went over there. Damn it! Studley! What are you doing, man? Um, apparently everybody goes across there to um, watch it. So I could tell from all the screaming that England were doing somewhat well. And I did check before I went to sleep. From what I understand of football, it was in overtime and... Hey, can you help me? Yeah, I went to sleep at that point. Studley, it's till time. Try not to break the till, will you? God damn it, man. Thank you. God damn it. Right, let's get some people in. I can't believe Nahum... Thank you. Nahum hasn't had a skill up yet. I don't know how long it takes. No promises. Yep, that does not surprise me, Studley, but I know you'll try your best. Yeah, well, I must say, I'm really enjoying my games now that I've got um, some names in there from people that I've uh, been talking to. It makes the games that enjoyable because Hi. Again, I've probably mentioned this before. It feels like I've mentioned it before because I've played games with some of these people and others I know. I can uh, basically shout at them. And to a degree, I know what reactions I'd get. To a degree. Sometimes I'm wrong, but it just makes it more fun, in my opinion. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna be keeping this trait of naming people in games. Wh where I can, anyway. It's working much better in going medieval. Well, it's not working much better. In going medieval, it makes it more amusing. Thanks. You know, when we go into battle and um, a certain somebody comes in and saves everybody, I can there I can sit there cheering them on. Somebody goes down. Dramatic scream. Oh, that was close. But, uh, now. If you've not seen Go Medieval, I would recommend going and have a look. It's very much like RimWorld. And I did like RimWorld once upon... Well, it's not that I don't like it now. It's just that I gave it a bit of a break and I never went back to it. But playing Go Medieval is really making me want to install it for my week off. Thanks. I may just play it. I used to play it with like a million mods. I don't know that I'd go back and immediately put a million mods on it. Because from what I understand, there's been a lot of updates. And there's the um, the extra DLC stuff now. Well, there's one extra DLC. There's another one coming out. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm wanting to play some RimWorld. And that's just a fun game in itself. Because you never get the same story twice. It's just one of them games that's mega random. You could be doing so well, and then all of a sudden, bam. Everybody's got the plague. It's, it, that is genuinely part of the game. If you've never played RimWorld, it seems like the better you're doing, the harder the game gets normally. This dude just does not want to come into this shop. I'm there putting effort in. There's people stood around watching me, and it's just like, uh, why waste your time? No! If I'd not wasted the time on him, although I did get him in. Uh, never mind, Studley's back on the tilt. Good man. We would have got the lady in blue, though. Yes, I actually remembered the end of my sentence, Horns. 
But yeah, go have a look at Go Medieval. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing with it at the moment. I keep playing it as though it's RimWorld. And I probably shouldn't do that, but... They're very similar. It's just a 3D version of it, whereas Rim RimWorld is more top-down. I should really stop talking about my other series in this series. Let's get back to the King of Retail. Um, I have asked the question before. What, um, what extra features do you guys think that they could implement to King of Retail? Like, later down the line? Like, extra shops or stuff like that? Any suggestions? Somebody suggested last time I asked this a furniture store, which I thought would be a dead good idea because then you could build like Ikea. You know, going through buying all your flat pack uh, wardrobes and stuff like that. And then you might actually have to have it where your customers go and get trolleys. I mean, they don't get trolleys now, they just pick it up and it disappears, but that could be something. Um, Studley's going to have to stay on a till and I'm going to have to refill these. I completely skipped that one. I was too busy talking. So yeah, furniture shop. I suggested like a, a food restaurant. There is actually another game that I could play that's similar to this. Although the next one I'm playing after I finish King of Retail is another in-shop game. Uh, the In-shop game? Inception? What am I trying to say? You, you actually run the shop from the inside. But another game that I have got is similar to Prison Architect. I'm not sure if it's made by the same people. It's called Another Brick in the Mall. And that's kind of like this, but top down. And you start off, you build a little grocery store, then you buy more land, you expand, you can specialise it into different stores. I think, well, back when I played it, you wanted to get a jewellery store because they just had massive profit margins. You can build cinemas, bowling alleys, restaurants. It's, it was brilliant, but... It ended up running like absolute rubbish on my computer, and I don't know why. I don't know if it was an optimization issue or what, but it was dead stuttery. I'm not being funny. I've not got a terrible computer. And another brick in the mall isn't exactly a graphically intense game. There's even a benchmark map on it, from what I remember. It's like the biggest map you can get, and it just loads it with people. So... Uh, my computer should be able to handle that. Again, that looks very much like Prison Architect. Can you please stop it with the stupid rolling? Um, I'm going to have to go in the shop now. All my staff have gone home. God damn it. Thanks. I can talk to these two and that's it. Get away from me. You don't exist anymore. We are getting busy here though. Getting much busier. That is completely sold out. I don't know if we've just got football shirts in the back or what, but... We are selling out. I wouldn't increase our minimum storage on things anymore. But we could. If I really wanted to, like, delve into it and tweak things properly, there's a few shirts that I'd probably order more of. I can't believe the bog-standard general shirts are selling so well. They're just having quick rolls at this time of night, I'm sorry. That and there's too many people in here for me to be putting effort into a single person at the minute. What did I say about staying inside now? Um, have we got any more stock? What have we got? A football shirt, gamer one, and a fashionable one. Why do they like the plain white one, but not the... I think the black and white and grey stripey one looks better. And why do you not like my Rush B shirts? What is wrong with you people? Uh, it's fine. Ah, the gamer I see. Aha. You've got 30 minutes, pick something or get up. Okay. They chose the latter. Ready, closed. Go, let me out. And wages aren't terrible. Right, we'll do the final circuit. These videos have jumped up in time from... Normally about 30 minutes to 50 minutes. I know you don't mind, but... Who have we got? Is that Shakira? <laughs> Shakira, Shakira. Oh, no. Sorry, Shakira. I'd love to have you employed in my clothes shop, but... Uh, Kennard? I shop at stores a lot. The amount of CVs we have come in. 
that I actually say that. You know, all the times in stores I've wanted just a goddamn restocker, and then we get one for this shop. Uh, £6.14 an hour. God damn it. Excuse me. Hiccups. Right, so cash it. That wasn't a hiccup, that was a burp. Pardon me. Um, we're good for salespeople. I need a marketer. And uh, are you bothered about which days a week you work? Requires lower wages, longer days. Um, you're not really bothered at the minute, so I'm just going to put you on the four-day contract. No, we don't need 10 till 19. I'm going to do 8 till 12. Even that's too long, isn't it? Let's go 9... Oop, 9 till 12. Because I'm calling the orders in anyway. Screw it now. Let's go 8 till 11. I only need you in for 3 hours. 3 hours is probably too much. I might only need you for 2, but... Let's have a look. How have I been doing the restockers in my other shops? I don't know. I've not been doing those 8 till 12, have I? I don't think I have. It's been a while. We're probably going to have to do a... Uh, Ooh, fair enough, I don't care. We're probably going to have to do a trip around the shops tomorrow's episode, just to try and get the other things back up a bit. We save £9.60. Go team. Uh, we've got our order in there. Have you noticed? I've not had to come anywhere near this. Oh dear, we, we avoid that like the plague nowadays. Yes, you got a skill up. Sales speed, please. I want you to be lightning fast. Who has got a day off today? Um, Studley has got a day off. Nahum. Studley and Nahum. Let's go get you some training. Yeah, Studley's going to get trained fully in both of these. Studley and Nahum. Nahum absolutely needs no training. He just needs the skill at this point. Well... In fact, I think it's probably better that we save it on the the map so we can see how well the store's doing and if we'll be investing in a different type of clothing next episode or not. Ow! Oh, please, next, stop it. Ah! I'm dying. Oh, I've had painkillers at this. Get that, even. We need one more concept. So, tomorrow we'll absolutely be um, branching out into shoes and stuff so you know what next episode i'm going to start by taking some cash out of uh, my other shops and we can um, you know i could actually move these up to this area and get them established now because then i've got to move all the staff and stuff that's a bit of a problem it's a shame you can't keep your staff but anyway i'm rambling that's going to be it for today's episode thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed the video feel free to leave a like don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more comments and feedback greatly appreciated as always and if you look in the description below there's a few links if you'd like to take a look that sentence was completely circular. Uh, the most important link being the community Discord one. If you'd like to come join the community, you could watch these episodes live before they go out on YouTube. And, you know, there's just loads of decent people to talk to on here. Come join the conversation and the fun with the gift wars and stuff like that. Other than that, though, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!